everyone reset the question on how to check if a file has been uploaded to the file upload control and validate if it hasn't so this is a really simple easy one you just click on the attachments control and you can select uh, required and yes so if you go to preview and if you're filling out your form hello world and you press submit it's just going to say this is a required field now you can customize that message to uh, Custom required message, uh, please upload at least one file and come to preview. And now we've actually got a different message. Now, if you wanted to do something a little bit more conditional, let's say if you wanted to put a comments box below if a file has been uploaded, so you could say um, text longs, so we're going to put it below there, and by default, we're going to say it's um, visible is no, and we're going to say comments okay so if a file has been uploaded here so this is different so it's not really around if it's required or not so when we press submit we don't really need the validation anymore we're going to turn that off so uh, required is no what we want to do is if a file has been uploaded make this visible so what you want to do is come to rules and you'll notice the um, file upload control isn't available in the drop down because it's actually a collection and we don't support collections in the if drop down yet so we'll give our rule a name we'll say check if file upload is um contains file and so you can work around that that drop down limitation by going to insert and coming to what do we want to do we want to do uh attachments and so you'll see this attachments is a collection. So that is a, a, a an array basically. And so what do we do with an array? We want to um, figure out how long it is or how many items are in there. And what you can do is you can actually convert the um, the array to a string is the first thing you could do. Now the second thing you could do is then just do length. So I want to check the length of the uh, of the um, of the array. So length of the array so it's, it's going to be zero if there's no files uploaded it's going to be more than zero if files are uploaded so we go insert and so if it's greater than zero so you could either do it that way you could say if length of the array is greater than zero or you can come to the function you could do something else is um you can actually so i'll just uh, format this a bit nicer you could actually say um if the length is greater than zero um, and then you get the true false so depending on what your formula does what sort of data type it returns you get different operators here so if we were to overload this to say well i'm gonna i'm gonna get the length and if it's greater than zero we could just keep it really simple like this then you get different options there so greater than zero then the comments box is uh visible is yes else comments box visible oops visible is no so go ahead and create the rule go to preview and so we know comments box at the moment i go and select a file upload and then the comments box shows and then if i delete it comments box is hidden again so that's some easy ways of validating if a file upload has some files or if a file upload has had some files or got some files how you could conditionally change your form as well Hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.